The aim of this tutorial is to demonstrate how easy it is to set up an affiliate site with freely available products like WordPress and how you can enhance your site with Fusepump's affiliate tools. WordPress is a content management system that's freely available for anyone to download and use. It has many great features, not least of which is an easy installation and configuration process that doesn't require any technical knowledge. In this tutorial I'm going to cover the basics of setting up a WordPress site before moving on to how you can use Fusepump's affiliate tools to improve engagement with your site and earn commission through affiliate programs. The example I'm going to use here is a fictional site called Barcelona Weekends where I intend to write about all aspects of weekend trips to the city of Barcelona. I want to use Fusepump's affiliate tools to include details on my site about the latest deals from companies like lastminute.com without having to manually update that information myself. You can see here what the site looks like now, but first I need to cover a few steps required to get to this point. The first thing you'll need before you get started is a web host who will serve your site to visitors. There are various hosts out there, a great example is DreamHost who currently offer a two week free trial. Most hosts are capable of hosting WordPress sites and DreamHost offer a WordPress installation wizard as part of their easy to use control panel. During the DreamHost sign-up process, you'll be asked if you want to register a domain name. This is the address visitors type to reach your site. In our example, we've selected the domain barcelonaweekends.com. Picking a domain name that contains keywords relevant to your subject can give you a useful boost in search engine rankings. Network Solutions offers a useful tool for checking domain name availability, allowing you to enter several possible names and see which domains are available. Domain name registration is a subscription process. You'll typically pay for one or two years registration, and if you don't renew after that time, someone else can purchase the domain. Whether you use a wizard or install WordPress yourself, you should eventually find yourself looking at the default WordPress template, as you can see here, displaying some placeholder content. The next step is to set some basic configuration options in the WordPress control panel. You can find a link to the control panel here, or you can go to the WP login page like this. Enter the admin details that you configured during installation to log into the control panel. There are a couple of settings you'll want to change from their defaults. The first is the description of the site, which you'll probably want to change to something more meaningful, and the second is the permalink structure. This controls the addresses given to each of your site's posts and pages, and changing it to this setting can help your search engine rankings, as the addresses of your posts will now contain their titles. The first Fusepump tool we're going to make use of is the Widget Creator. You can access this through the Merchants Affiliate Dashboard. This tool allows us to create customised widgets for a given merchant, displaying relevant packages and products according to filters we specify. We're going to create a new widget configuration, and I'd like to place the widget on the right-hand side of my site, so I'm going to select the skyscraper format. The next step prompts me to select the departure point and the destination that will be displayed in the widget by default, so I'll pick London and Barcelona. I can then preview the widget here before being given the code needed to use it. Returning to our site, I want to place the widget here, in this sidebar beneath the search box. To do this, head back to the admin area by clicking here, and then go to the Appearance menu and choose Widgets. This page allows us to configure which individual tools and features appear on the pages of our site. The area here represents the sidebar I indicated. We want to add a new text widget, which I'll do by dragging it into this area, waiting until the space I want to position it in is selected. I'll give it a name to remind me what it is. And if I then return to the widget creator, copy the code and paste it into the body of the new widget. I'll save it and if I then return to the site, the widget appears on the right just like in the preview. WordPress makes it really easy to include content in this way. I'm going to show you another example. This time we'll write a new post on our site and include a BBC weather widget showing the forecast for Barcelona. I'm going to disable the widget we just added by returning to the widgets panel and dragging the widget into the inactive area at the bottom of the page. This keeps the settings for the widget but stops it being displayed. I'm then going to create a new post with some example content.
Now I'm ready to insert the forecast, so I'll head over to the BBC Weather website to get the widget. The BBC provide a simple embedding function for their forecasts. I just click the Embed button here and copy the code. Back in the post editor, I switch to the HTML code view and paste in the BBC widget code. If I now save this post, we can return to the site and see the forecast displayed as part of the post. You can perform embedding like this with a variety of third-party content, for example YouTube videos or audio clips. The final tool I want to cover is the FusePump feed creator. This allows you to create customised feeds of product data that you can use in your own applications. We're going to configure a simple feed of lastminute.com packages to Barcelona and use a simple code example to read in this data and display it on our site. So first let's configure the feed. Like the widget creator, the feed creator can be accessed through the merchant's affiliate dashboard. We're going to create a new feed configuration and select our destination as Barcelona and our departure point as London. We'll restrict our search to bed and breakfast packages and only those rated 4 or 5 stars. Lastly, we'll select direct flights only for the most convenient itineraries. The preview pane at the bottom of the page loads a sample of packages matching our criteria. On this page we can select an output format and customise the fields that are included in the feed. I'm going to select CSV for this example and leave the fields alone. Clicking through, a download link and a URL to our feed are generated. We'll return to this in a moment. In our example we're going to edit one of the WordPress theme files so that when a single post is viewed on our blog a sample of feed data will appear below it. We'll use a snippet of code to read in the first few lines from the feed file we just generated. Before we start editing we need to download the feed file then upload it to the server hosting our blog. This is a bit tricky to demonstrate so you'll have to take my word for it but all I've done is create a new directory called data inside my WordPress directory and uploaded the feed.csv file into it. It's worth noting that in a real situation it would be desirable to have the feed file updated automatically. FusePump are in the process of introducing new functionality to the feed creator that can automatically upload new feeds to affiliates own sites. You should contact us if this would be of interest to you. With the file in place we now need to edit part of our default WordPress theme. In the control panel go to the appearance menu and choose editor. Scroll down the list of files on the right and choose loop-single.php. This file is used to display individual posts. Open a new tab in your browser and go to the address on the screen now to grab the code snippet we're going to use and make sure you copy the raw version. We need to find a good place to insert the code to ensure our feed data shows up in the right place. If you're using the default WordPress theme, a good place to paste is here towards the bottom of the file, above the division with the class entry-utility. Paste the code snippet and click the update file button to save. Back on the site, click a post title to open the single post view and note how a selection of products from the feed now show up below the post body. And that's our final example. If you have any questions about the tools shown in this tutorial or you'd like to know more about our services, please get in touch via our website.